Me duele tener puesto un uniforme que no representa nada. After six days of uncertainty and anguish, a moment of relief. Solo deseo verte una vez. All except one of the 179 prison guards and staff held hostage by inmates in seven prisons across Ecuador have been released on Saturday night. A security crisis that has been spiraling out of control has been quelled for now. President Daniel Noboa declared a state of war on Tuesday and designated the gangs as terrorist organizations. He took to the social media platform X to congratulate the police, armed forces and the prison authorities on a successful operation. Catherine Manchado was one of the captured guards. The 25 years old could barely contain her emotions as she recounted the days she spent in captivity at the Cotopaxi prison near the capital Quito. Sí, creo que el miedo me consumió. The fear consumed me, day in and day out, until I got out. I thought about hugging my fiancé all the time. The first day, I was hoping they let us go after a few hours. Then the night came, and I understood we were not going to be let go. One of the guards died in a brief confrontation between the police and the inmates in one of the prisons, but most of the releases took place with no incident, as the prisoners let the security forces retake control of the jails. In recent years, Ecuador has been living through an unprecedented security crisis fueled by drug trafficking that authorities have failed to address, turning it into one of the most dangerous countries in Latin America. A gang leader in the Turi prison in Cuenca, who held 21 guards hostage, said the decision to release them was an act of peace, but criticized the government for not allowing food, water and cutting electricity inside the prisons. If the president wants us to apologize, we can apologize. He won the war. But he should help us to reintegrate into society. We know we can't fight the state and we want to adhere to its rules. But the abuse of power needs to end and our right to live protected. The release of all the hostages is a major political victory for President Daniel Noboa and his promise of a hardline crackdown on the gangs. But it's unlikely on its own to end a deep security crisis that's been worsening for years. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Guayaquil. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.